Thanks for clicking Weather on Demand. I'm Sean Householder with UpperMichiganSource.com. If you're wondering where all the snow's gone, take a look at the uh, total snowfall for the month of November to date. We've received 7.3 inches, but we average 14.4 inches. So we've fallen more than seven inches below what we would normally expect for snowfall. Now we'll start to make up for that over the weekend. Conditions currently, well, some of the cooler portions of Upper Michigan hanging into the low 20s this morning at the 8 o'clock hour. Munising one of the warmer spots right at the freezing point, 10 degrees warmer. It's 32 there, so here's that cold front, and it's managed to work its way eastward across the upper uh, uh, peninsula and through the Great Lakes region now. Cold air on the back side of that system, but high pressure building in just to the west. That means clearing skies. That's the setup for today. That high pressure starts to nose in, and that does provide a mix of sun and clouds, and uh, the snow showers start to wind down throughout the day. But this next Arctic front is on a fast approach, and that will eventually swoop in by this evening, working into these western counties initially with some gusty winds and some colder air. Snow also uh, accompanying the front. By Saturday, the front will uh, pass us by high pressure. This is Arctic high pressure and that'll settle in and we'll see some gusty northwest uh, and northerly winds accumulating snow right through the weekend. Makes for kind of a messy weekend for us. So today we see partial clearing winds start to shift out of the southwest and well that brings drier air and some uh, pretty mild conditions. You can see temperatures tickling the freezing point in some of the cooler portions of Upper Michigan right through the mid and upper 30s elsewhere. Tonight, though, changing weather conditions uh, working quickly, especially across the western counties. We see snow shortly after sunset and, of course, uh, snow spreading eastward with that front throughout your overnight hours. I think a bulk of the heavier snowfall, which could fall down at inch, an inch or two an hour at times, so that'll accumulate pretty quickly. That'll work in after midnight and by 5 a.m. on your Saturday morning, it's going to be cold and windy. Temperatures sink into the teens and with these gusty winds, perhaps a peak gust around 40 miles an hour, especially along Superior Shoreline. Well, that makes it feel even colder, so we'll call it bitter cold across much of the western and northern UP with those gusty winds accumulating snow and that continues even looking south. We'll get in on some accumulating snow in the southern portions of the UP, not expecting a whole lot. You can see portions where uh, you have the whiter shades only an inch or two and where you see green, we're expecting four to six inches. A nice swath of 8 to 10 inch snowfall over towards uh, the extreme eastern counties and for a bulk of the upper uh, peninsula. And there is a small portion of the UP where you get those northwest winds uh, working in that longer fetch off the lake. Places like uh, Alger County over towards uh, northern Schoolcraft and Luce counties, you could see 10 uh, to 12 inches of snow through the entire event that's right through the weekend. So the National Weather Service has their uh, lake effect snow warning for the county shown in blue. That's a huge chunk of the UP that continues from Friday night through Sunday morning. The bigger weather headlines will be the wind chill near zero or below some of the gusty winds and of course blowing snow and reduced visibility to near zero. That's almost blizzard conditions. TV six day forecast and that trough continues to dig into the Great Lakes next week. That means more cold air and snow right through a balance of the work week. Stay safe. Have a great weekend and thanks for watching.